Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So around one month is left for your gate examination to happen. So I know many of you guys have multiple doubts. Uh, what to do in the final 30 days? Uh, how to proceed on your preparation? Till when we have to stop our studying? How to give the test series? All those things I will try to uh, give an answer in this short video briefly. If you want a uh, even bigger answer right even more explanation you can let us know in the comment below exactly which particular uh, thing you have doubt so maybe i will be able to provide uh, answer on that uh, and make a separate video so first i will tell you the broader plan the broader plan would be don't study anything new after 15th of january right i think the ec examination is around the second week of feb so don't study like you have to give at least one month to your revision and to test series properly right so don't study anything after 15th of january right so try to study anything new whatever you're studying in this next 10 days and don't study anything new after that now few students who have let's say only done uh 20 percent of the subject or 10 percent not subject sorry 20 percent of the whole syllabus or 10 percent of the whole syllabus right i will unfortunately have to say if you are aspiring for like a a very good rank like under thousand right that will be very very difficult for you i will tell you if you can afford take a drop right now and start preparing for gate 2027 okay uh, but if your sole aim is just to clear the cutoff of gate examination then you can just study maths and aptitude and that should be enough right but if you are someone who has done 50 percent of the syllabus 60 percent of the syllabus so i will say and if you're in let's say in third year or you, if you're if you're just in third year right and you just want to check the level of yourself then it, it's fine don't like you continue your preparation your main preparation would be for gate 2027 and you can give gate 2026 attempt and see where you stand right uh, so yeah that was about the classification where do you stand and should you actually leave the preparation or not so if you have completed 50 to 60 percent syllabus i will say don't leave the preparation and i know you are tensed what will happen sir i have not covered the whole syllabus will i be able to get a good rank so in the previous year uh, in our playlist itself like gate 2025 rankers there were many third year students who had not completed their whole syllabus but still they got good rank so it can happen right so don't lose hope right now just keep focused stay motivated i know uh, i do understand that you have not covered the whole syllabus and you are tense you are you have maybe had not studied for the past 10 days or you had not studied in the past right so whatever has happened happened you cannot change it now so don't try to think about the past right i don't understand past always comes like just like your x right x will always be on your mind i do understand but uh, you have to for this next month you will have to uh, get that out of your mind and focus focus on the future right focus on gate examination so you just give yourself a mind thinking that anything can, can happen in the exam day and you will give yourself full chance to give yourself full chance what you will do whatever you have studied that is fine now revise it in a good manner and give the test series and check where do you stand that's all right so if you have only covered 50 percent of the syllabus and you're expecting to get under 100 rank or under one uh, under 50 rank that will be obviously very wrong right so please uh, keep your expe expectations to whatever you have done right don't over hype your expectations then you will not be demotivated okay that is a point one and it's totally fine at 1000 rank at 2000 rank as well i have seen many students who are doing great in their life it's not like this rank will be your end of the world yes getting a good rank always will help you but it's not the end of the world okay that was for those students who are feeling demotivated just keep your mind clear and focus on the present what is the present till 15th you can study anything new uh, after 15th don't study just revise 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 and practice so after 15th you'll give full time to revision now also you will revise and how to do the revision i will just tell you briefly so what you do is let's say there are there is a subject in which a lot of formulas are there so you there are revision x notes you can download those or any i think from any other coaching institutes you'll get some short notes kind of thing right so there all the important formulas would be written so take a blank piece of paper a rough paper and write the formulas by yourself if you just read the formulas right it seems like you remember it but it it's not that's not really the case you know it right so unless and until you you don't see the formula you write it by yourself then you exactly know whether your brain remembers it or not yes i do agree it's impossible to do for all subjects like this but for those subjects which you are forgetting so much right only for those subjects you can do 
okay it's not like you have to do for all subjects now how do you know uh, what subjects i am forgetting through test series so we are launch like we will conduct some free mock test right we will conduct three free mock tests first one will start from 18th of january so make sure you attempt our mock test and with that with those mock tests you will realize exactly which subjects you are forgetting and for those subjects use this method that i told i told you right now uh, uh, in mock test how much time should you give to analysis how much time should you give to the uh, attempting the question so attempt the mock test just like your actual gate examination so whatever is your actual gate examination strategy your strategy should be same in the mock test so this is the time for experimentation so you'll experiment your strategy whether you want to attempt aptitude first whether you want to attempt the core part first or whatever you want to do whatever st strategy you want to follow you do hit and trial with this first few mock tests and then you fix a strategy and that strategy should be same as your actual gate examination now how much time should you give so sit for complete 3 hours and you can give 2 hours to the mock test analysis like that is the maximum time time that i'm telling you 2 hours is more than enough to totally analyze which were your weak areas you will note them note those down and you will revise those particular topics and whatever questions were good you may note those down or maybe save it for a later stage that was for the mock test analysis one more thing because our most of our aspirants are from double ec or in so double ec and in i think for all three subjects i think the exam shift is on the morning shift right it is on the uh, morning session right so make sure you attempt the mock test from 9:30 am onwards only whatever is your actual exam time you attempt that only so your brain body clock should be set okay it should be set there should be no uh, difference between your actual gate exam and now so this you will just you are just making your body habitual to the actual gate examination so you attempt you will attempt your examination in the morning right whatever is your actual examination time uh, now one more thing one more small tip i want to give to mo most of you guys is make sure you buy small like you will get small rough copy like diary like this small copy right so i don't have that so but the uh, like the mm, the diary will be something like this you can go into any stationery shop and they will give you this small rough diary okay so small it's like hardly 5 rupees or uh, uh, i don't know what is the cost 5 rupees or 10 rupees so buy 10 15 of those and do your rough work in that copy only why i'm saying this because maybe they have changed the format now but during my time they used to provide this small rough uh, diary like this copy like this right and we had to do our rough work there only if you want additional you can ask for them they will provide you the additional diary so again we want to uh, mimic whatever is your actual examination condition to your mock test so that you are not surprised so you should be habitual of doing the rough work in that small copy okay that's why i'm telling you you can buy 20 of those and do your rough work in that small copy only okay so yeah i think these are the few things and don't worry when the examination will be near there also i will provide you some uh, few guidance as it will come nearer uh, so the summary is please don't be demotivated right now right now is not the time to get demotivated whatever has happened has happened so just give your best uh, in the next 30 days and you will see what will happen so revise uh, the formulas uh, attempt the test series and don't keep your expectation too high if you have only completed 50% of the subject how can you expect to get under 50 rank or under 100 rank right it is possible it is possible but don't keep your expectation that high right because you have to see where you actually stand so according to your actual current status you will keep your expectation so these are few tips any extra additional topics if you want more information you can let us know in the comments below of course we will always be happy to help you we can make a separate video so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have hit the like button and all the best for your upcoming examination I will see you in the next video until then happy learning